हेलो एवरीबॉडी दिस इज़ पूजा वासुदेव फ्रॉम कैंपस टेक्नोलॉजी व्हिच इज़ अ कंपनी ऑफ बेनेट कोलमन एंड कंपनी लिमिटेड इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल बी डेमॉन्स्ट्रेटिंग हाउ एज अ स्टूडेंट यू कैन लॉग इन टू आर एआई मेंटर ऐप रजिस्टर फॉर एन एग्जाम टेक एन एग्जाम पे द रिक्वायर्ड फी फॉर द एग्जाम एंड ऑल्सो डाउनलोड योर सर्टिफिकेट्स वंस यू आर डन टेकिंग अप द एग्जामिनेशन when you're downloading our app please make sure that you have the latest version how do you do that you have one simple way whenever you are taking up an exam you can uninstall and reinstall so that you are sure that you are always having the latest version we are doing this because we keep updating sometimes we make the flow easier we might be adding new exams that you can take up because of this it is always better that you download the latest version from either app store or play store or uh, the ai mentor app is available in both for iphones and other phones basically in app store and play store the application is available and once you have logged in you will see the login screen you can type in your user id and password and you can log in but let's say you do not have a user id password you can register yourself for logging in you have a register button here you can click on that you can fill in the details and then you can register yourself you can add the name you can add the email id while you are adding the email id please make sure you are providing a functional email id that you have access to because this id is what is going to be used to log in and to reset your password if required the reset link and the password will be sent to your registered email id only so please make sure that this email id is functional and you have access to it and put in your phone number the required password which institution you belong to which college or university you belong to and then you put in your registration number and click on submit this enables you to create your own user id password if you do not have a uh, id and password given by your respective institution or let's say you don't remember what it is and once you have successfully registered you can just log in i'm logging in with a demo id and just click on the submit button as soon as you log in you will be able to see the name on top and you'll also see your registration number uh, that uh, confirms that you have logged in correctly and if you see at the bottom in the categories you have couple of options let us talk about the first step you need to do whenever you want to take up an exam is registering for the exam so click on the register for exam option and there is a search button so look for the exam that you want to take up in my case i am looking for a demo exam so let's say environmental biotechnology test so i am clicking on the session here you will see all the sessions that are upcoming for this particular exam you can see here environmental biotechnology you can see the start time is on 3rd february at 2:30 pm there is a session so let's say i want to register for that i will click on select session or you can choose any session that is available so then i click on the 2:30 session and it says registration completed please click on the proceed button to pay the exam fees to take the exam so there is a fee to be paid for taking up this uh, exam so you can just click on that so let's say i have registered for so these are all the exams that i have registered for and the payment is pending so whenever you want to pay just click on this proceed button sometimes the institution might have a coupon code uh, which will give you some kind of discount you can type in the coupon code and click on check coupon it will automatically reduce the exam fee but if you do not have a coupon you can directly click on proceed to pay which will redirect you to a payment gateway you have to fill in all of the details here so this is exactly like any other payment gateway that you have used you can you have to give in your mobile number you have to give in your email id click on proceed then make the payment fill in the details and once you have completed the payment all of the exam so when i go back to the main screen if i go to exam all of the exams that are paid for will appear here under allotted 
if it is not paid it will be under pending so any exam that you have registered but not paid it will come under pending you can make the payment as soon as you make the payment the same exams status will be shifted from pending to allotted so allotted exams are those for which the payment is completed it is successful and you are free to take the exam so here my exam so let's say i have set up an exam for um there was supposed to be an exam here at 2 o'clock so when i click on the proceed button on that particular date and on that particular time this exam will be available now this exam was supposed to be started starting on 3rd february 2 o'clock that is why it is active so let's say this exam was at 230 you will not get this option of take exam this take exam button is activated on the exact time and date that you have actually registered for before that the exam is not active so once here you come to the screen you can see the session details just click on take examination you will have multiple sections you can click on take examination you can select the right option here and then you know click on submit button then you can go to the next section you can select the option here please keep in mind if you take up a particular section you answer them and then you go to the second section you cannot come back to a previous section once you move out of move out of it so please make sure that you are finishing all the questions in that particular section before going to the next section and once you are done taking up your examination you can come here there is a third option called download certificates you can download that certificate click on download if you have cleared the examination you will be uh, you know able to download if you have not cleared an examination it will say here sorry you could not pa pass the examination you have secured a total of 0 out of 25 so this is you are not eligible for the certificate so you can take up the exam again you can pay the fee and take up the exam again but if you have cleared the examination it will show you the score and you will be able to download the certificate now this is um this is uh, the way that you can take up the examination now let's say for students who were not able to clear the examination you want to reappear we have an option here called reappear same thing the process remains the same you can click on retake and you can select the session and then it will let you take up the uh, examination so you can retake it it will appear under upcoming so anything uh, allotted so in allotted whatever exams you have uh, you know you have chosen as retake will appear here and you can take up that exam on that particular date and time and sometimes it is also a uh, possible you want to reschedule it now you have selected a particular session but uh, for any unforeseen circumstance let's say uh, you know you're unwell or you're unable to take the exam on that particular date and time you can reschedule it you can click on the reschedule examination look for the particular examination to reschedule select the date time and then click on reschedule you can select the session and it will say thank you you may take the exam from exam allotted screen so the it is already redirecting to the allotted screen from here you can take up the examination that's how you can reschedule so we have two options one is re reappearing for an exam because you could not score the minimum uh, marks the next one is rescheduling an examination without even appearing so you have not appeared but you want to reschedule it for a different date and time you can do that and this uh, are the different options available in the ai mentor app for taking up the examination registering downloading certificates etc thank you